Before we get into tier lists, I have one thing to say to you. This is not a normal tier list. If I put Oryx in the Built to Roam category, and I put Mira, for example, in the Anchor category, I am not saying that Oryx is at all better than Mira. I do not hold that opinion. But I am saying that Oryx is much more Built to Roam than Mira is. Mira is an anchor. So don't think of this as S tier and don't think of this as F tier. Think of it as exactly what it says on the left hand side. With that out of the way though, let's go over the two operators I just throw on the tier list. First being Oryx. As an operator, Oryx was built to be a roamer. No matter how bad of a roamer Oryx is in today's current meta or how bad Oryx is just balanced right now, you can't deny that Oryx was just built to be a roaming operator. Now, I'm going to preface this again. Just because I put an, an operator here doesn't mean that I think that they're better than operators and good at roaming. For example, I think Jaeger is good at roaming because you can just put your utility in sight and you don't have to be near your utility to get value out of it. You can do whatever you want. You can anchor, you can roam, you can you like you can literally just do anything as Jaeger. It does not matter. But I'm not saying that Jaeger is worse than Oryx at all. I, I think Jaeger is much better than Oryx, but I also think that it's much easier for Oryx to roam just because of his kit. So with the explanation out of the way, let's get into the tier list. With my next operator being Alibi. I think Alibi was built to roam. You use your clones on the roam so that if anyone shoots them, you can swing off of them and get a free kill. Now you have observation blockers that can actually help you do this a little bit better. And then you just have one of the best guns in the game that can help you get kills SMG wise. You have a bailiff to be able to not only help the site setup, but also to be able to make yourself rotate and heddles on the fly if you want that to be part of your strategy for roaming. It works really well with your clones and your observation blockers to make even crazier angles. They had no idea that you might have a clone there. So, Alibi just works really well as a roamer if you have a big brain and you're able to use your clones efficiently. Someone who works a lot less good as a roamer would be Cade. I think Cade is an anchor, uh, and because most people know who's an anchor and who's not, I'm quickly just going to run through a bunch of them so I don't waste your time. Tachanka is obviously an anchor, so is Aruni, so are Smoke and Mute. Maestro is also an anchor. Malusi is an anchor, yes, even though she has an ACOG. Turbo is an anchor because you're supposed to sit on site and keep a wall closed. Same thing with Bandit. I know he's a three speed with a nitro cell and a good gun, but like you're meant to be Bandit tricking. That's your whole purpose, so just stay on site. Goyo, you need to be anchoring because if you want to actually use your utility, you have to be on site to do it. I know your teammates can use it, but I don't know about you. I do not trust my teammates to be using that, so... I sit on side as Goyo. Next is Rook. Rook is meant to be holding long angles because if you're holding a long angle, that typically means that if you get down, you have cover, you can get down behind, which means you're able to use your self revive more often. Also is a three armor and has an ACOG, so anchoring is just way better for Rook. Echo, I also think needs to be anchoring. You need to be on site using your echo cams. You do not need to be three floors completely away from your echo cams trying to deny a plant and get a clip that only would have literally worked in 2017. And then finally, I think Capcan is an anchor because you're kind of meant to let your traps do the killing while you sit on site and hold angles with an SMG and then use your nitro cell to kill up any low HP people that fit your Capcan traps. You could kind of roam as Capcan, but I don't see why you would need to. But with that out of the way, those are kind of all of the anchors in the game. Let's move on to actual roamers and talk about why some people are good at roaming and some people might not be as good as you think. First of all, let's go over Wamai. A lot of people like to roam with Wamai, but anybody with a rechargeable ability needs to be at least near sight. If you don't know what lurking means, a lurker is somebody that isn't necessarily on the site, but they're like a room away from sight. They might as well be anchoring. Maybe a room or two if they're like extending with a castle or something. Uh, but like Wamai, the furthest I'll let him go is lurking. Because sometimes you can put Wamai discs like near sight. Like if you're on Villa, instead of playing inside of Aviator and putting all your discs in Aviator, sometimes you'll put discs in Study or you'll put it on the Skull Door or in 90 right so like you can be your near sight and lurk near sight or like rafters on clubhouse rafters isn't sight but it damn near should be and that's what my is because if you're playing with my you need to be lurking because you have a rechargeable ability which means the more you stay alive the more you get that ability and the people who stay alive the longest are anchorers so naturally you want to be just the closest to the site for the literal exact same reason I talked about Wamai being a lurker, I also think that Azami should be a lurker. It's the rechargeable ability and the fact that you have an ability that is so, so synergized with anchoring, it just makes sense to anchor with Azami. For the exact same reason I put those two in lurking, I'm also going to put Fenrir in lurker. I will say with this new update, I, you can kind of roam with Fenrir. I don't really recommend it though, so I think I'm going to keep Fenrir in Lurker for now, uh, just because of the fact that like, yeah, you can shoot his stuff now, so like, you're, you're much more at risk if you're roaming with him, but also like, sometimes it's more important to hold a room outside of sight than it is to hold the site, like, Bakery on Cafe, for example, you want a Fenrir mine in there, but it's not technically on site, but it's like lurking, so that's why I put Fenrir in Lurking, because sometimes you just need to put mines outside of the site, it makes sense. 
But that's enough about Lurkers, let's get into some actual good roamers, which is what I know you came here to watch the video for. The first one being Caviar, again, not a good operator at all, like, F-tier rework section, definitely. Uh, but, Caviar was definitely, like, built to roam. When people made Cav, they made Cavera with the intention to make her a roamer. She flanks people, she has a silent step, she has a three speed, she has impacts. You get the idea. You're meant to roam this Cav. Someone else you're definitely meant to roam with would be Vigil. Uh, you can't be spotted by drones, and people drone out entries first into the match. So, definitely a roamer. Legion, I would honestly say the exact same thing. Uh, I think Legion is played best when Legion is a roamer, but only roaming slightly. So I would put Legion in good at roaming, actually. Because like I said about rechargeable abilities, the longer you stay alive, the more usefulness you're going to get out of your operator, right? Naturally. The thing is, uh, you can die immediately in the round and have like four Legion traps already down. Like, Legion's rechargeable ability is not as unforgiving as the three or i guess the two down here but you still can roam really effectively as legion if i have a legion mine in a room and it hasn't gone off i know i have control of that room so you're kind of just controlling rooms and not allowing them to take space which is what roamers do it's all a space game for roamers next let's go over solus i think solus is kind of built to roam the best way you can use solus is to deny information on the roam or to at least be below the site to give information on your teammates who are anchoring so Definitely like a built to roam operator for me. If you want to put her in in good, I understand that completely. Someone else who I have kind of the same hard time ranking would be Ella. I think Ella is good at roaming though. And the reason that I think Ella is more built to be a kind of roamer than an actual like full-fledged roamer is the fact that she brings a deployable shield and she brings a piece of utility that you would normally only put on site. The only reason people are bringing Ella mines right now is because Ella mines counter shields. Before that, no one played Ella unless they were playing Ella for Ella's weapons. You give Ella terrible weapons, one of the worst operators in the entire game, hands down, right? So the fact that you have a deployable shield, which is meant to be used by anchors, and you're countering shields, which really only push anchors if they're rushing site, means Ella naturally would be more attuned to anchoring, but you can still viably roam as Ella because you can pocket a mine or two and throw it at people who are roam clearing you, and you have great guns and you're a three speed. It just makes sense to roam as Ella. It just feels right, even though it might not be right. Someone else that it kind of feels right to roam with, even though you don't really have to, would be Valkyrie. You can roam as Valkyrie. You are a two speed, you have an SMG, you have a nitro, and you also have an ability that's good for killing people who are trying to push you on the roam clear. So if you want to roam as Valkyrie, especially if you're like below the site trying to get a nitro, I actually think Valkyrie's pretty good at that. Somebody else who's pretty good for below nitros would be Pulse. And I think Pulse is our first situational roamer of the day. You're only going to roam with Pulse if you're doing it to go below a site. That's pretty much it. It's the only time you'll do it. So you can roam as Pulse and it be viable, but only in certain situations, which is what constitutes a situational roamer. Speaking of situational roamers, let's go over our next one, which is going to be Castle. The only reason you roam with Castle is because you're setting up your Castle Barricades on a roam. That's it. Whether it be because you're playing above a site, like maybe on the map like Border, or because you're actually using the castle barricades to extend the site and make the site bigger, like people do on Bakery of Cafe, for example, right? Or Vent on Border. You get the idea. You use castle to extend into a roam or to roam completely, situationally, though. Next up is Thunderbird. Uh, now, I did talk to one of my friends about where I should put Thunderbird, because Thunderbird's a bit hard for me before I put Thunderbird on the tier list, and they kept begging me to put Thunderbird in Situational, and I don't know why. There's nothing, like, clearly defining about Thunderbird where it's like, well, you could anchor here, but you could roam in this scenario. Like, Thunderbird's kind of like, do whatever you want. It doesn't matter. You could anchor. You could roam. Like, it doesn't matter. Which kind of makes me want to put Thunderbird in, like the good at roaming category because it's the same thing as jaeger well like you just put down three things in the prep phase you put down the barbed wire in the prep phase and then you do literally whatever you want thunderbird is good at roaming because of the weapon that she brings and the fact that she's a two speed so was jaeger for the exact same reason so if i want to put jaeger in good at roaming i have to put thunderbird in good at roaming because they literally are the same thing except one brings slightly better utility so, I, it just makes sense for me to put Thunderbird and go to roaming for me. I, I don't know. Thunderbird's kind of hard to rank. So is Jaeger, to be completely honest. Because you could do whatever you wanted with these. You really could. Maybe I should have made a flex category like I did with my entry video. That kind of would have made more sense. Anyways, that aside, let's go over the next operator, which is going to be Mozzie. Mozzie was built to roam. Uh, if you're using Mozzie Pest on site in the prep phase, stop doing that. If you wanted to deny drones like that, you'd play Solus or you would play Mute. Or I guess with this new update, you would, wouldn't play Solus. Damn, that sucks. Anyways, I find it the best when you just shoot drones in the prep phase to deny, you know, five drones there, and then you use Mozzie's Pest 
to deny drones when you're roaming so they can't drone you out, which is three more drones. It's a total of potentially eight drones in total. Whereas, if you had used Mozzie's Pest in the prep phase, that's three drones that you captured for cameras, cool, and then two more that you killed. And then, that's it, that's five. Five versus eight, obviously the winner would be roaming with Mozzie. But if you want to use Mozzie's cameras, just play Valkyrie. Valkyrie brings three cameras you can hide anywhere too. If you like the mobility of the camera, play Echo, it doesn't matter. Mozzie is best for using his utility to deny people from droning when you're roaming, which is why I think Mozzie was built to roam. Do I think Mozzie's in the best state right now? Probably not, but definitely was like an operator built to roam for sure. Next up is Doc. Doc is good at roaming and purely only because of the fact that you can heal yourself. That's it. Somebody that can heal themselves is naturally just going to be good at taking gunfights and people who are naturally attuned to taking gunfights are just roamers because they see the people first in the round. They they do because people have to take space from them right so like doc good at healing himself for gunfights has an acog on a low recoil smg has a bailiff for making himself rotate you get the idea doc can be good at roaming do i think doc was built to roam no but you can do it next is warden i think warden's a lurker because you don't really play warden on site unless they're smoke planting you play warden in positions you don't want them to take so that they can't take a site again i'm gonna bring you back to bakery on cafe if you're playing kitchen cafe like the first four site Playing Warden on site doesn't make sense, but playing Warden in Bakery, where they always will flash grenade to get into, makes way more sense, right? So I think Warden is good at lurking. You could, you, I mean, Anchoring's good at him too, honestly, but like, I think you could lurk with him, so I'll, I'll put him in the lurk spot. I'll give him a little bit of credit for now. Next up, a bit of a controversial opinion, I think would be Clash. I don't think Clash is best actually played on site. I think Clash is best played near site for the same reasons uh, as like Warden and Azami. You're gonna get the most amount of like high traffic attackers funneling into one area not on the site but near the site because if you think about it right when attackers are pushing a site smart attackers aren't gonna all go into one doorway they're gonna split up one's gonna go on the wall one's gonna go on the vert one's gonna go from a door one's gonna go from a window you never know they kind of like to split up so they can cover each other while one guy goes in for the plant right but if you want to be able to stop the most amount of attackers that are funneled in, right, as a clash, as a shield, as somebody that can shock people, that's good for you. And the place that they do that isn't on site, it's near site. Because if they have to get to all those different positions to get around a site, they have to go through one doorway in order to do it. Usually, unless you're like near the outside of a site. So clash is naturally good at just stopping people and slowing them down from funneling from that one area to stop them from going in that one area and spreading out. Next up is Thorn. I think Thorn's a lurker. Uh, Thorn is kind of a little lower than most people think Thorn would be for the same reason that Ella is. And that's the fact that Thorn brings a deployable shield, and Thorn brings utility that's good for sight. Next is Frost. Frost, for the literal exact same reason as Thorn, is a good lurker. You got a deployable and you have something that's good for sight. You also have a shotgun for sight setup, and you have an SMG with low fire rate, which means you're naturally just going to be more attuned to holding angles instead of swinging them. And then finally, we have the newest addition to the defense, which is Sentry. I think Sentry is situationally a good roamer. Here is why. Sentry, as an operator, completely changes depending on the utility that you bring Sentry on, which is what Sentry's ability is. You're bringing different utility. So you can bring impacts and a nitro cell if you want to be a roamer, or you can bring a deployable shield and barbed wire if you want to anchor. It depends on what you bring. But with out of the way, my name is Al. Go check out this next video, and I hope we'll see you there. Later.